Hi there, this is Eric Torque from Technology Partners, the wild man of analytics, as I've been called in the past, so I've adopted the name. Okay, today we are going to look at Crystal Ball and how to make this model, which is the sample model, available on the web uh, or uh, as a add-in free spreadsheet that's interactive. So let's see what we're working with. This is a very simple model. We're just going to get rid of our message over here. It's a simple project. We have one, two, three, four, five, six work packages. Uh, and we're going to export the simulated results so we can build this model. Because what's going to happen is every time we want to, let's just get this together, every time we want to change something, we have to rerun the model. We have to make some changes, rerun it. Uh, this obviously is a very powerful and in-depth way of working the model. And that's why if you're a technology partners, Chris Ball, at risk, some of these other tools serve as our front end. Uh, they generate the data, but then you need to get them around. So over here, we have a project contingency of 20%. So really the two numbers we need to be looking at are 71 million and 85 million. So if I were to run my simulation, run it a thousand times, shouldn't take very long. And we have a thousand trials. And if we look at this, the project total using strict simulate, the deterministic case gives you 85 million if we were to apply 20% uh, across the board. And the simulated risk over here, so if we were just taking the uncertainty, it says that the mean is 74, and the P90, if we want to go look at what the P90 is, the P90 is 78. So we could be a lot more competitive on this bit, but we want to share this information with the rest of our management team and maybe present this in a meeting. So how do we do that? So let's close that and export our results using the SIP modeler tool. Now the SIP modeler tools, are free. I have the professional edition, so I, I contribute to the development of this tool through the probability management uh, group, which is run by Sam Savage. And this toolkit is also available in freeware. So you can download it for free and you can do what I'm doing, but perhaps you won't be able to have the import export features uh, up front. Anyways, let's uh, export these results and let's look at what's getting done. So we've exported the results and we have all the trial data from our simulation and this is audible. So we can look at these and we have all the auditable values and if someone wanted to look at what our trials were, here they are. Now, how do we package that? So using the tool, we're going to go over here and we are going to initialize in the current workbook. So we hit OK. And you'll notice that we have a PM table and the chart data. So this is, this is where all the magic happens. Now let's add one more tab for the model. We'll call it model. and we're going to bring in our new input. So let's check it out. So over here we have the library input tab and we are going to pick the inputs over here. So we want all these guys and we're gonna put these over here and hopefully uh, let's select. So starting for input cells and the metadata, which is where we're going to put the name, we're going to put that next to it, and we're just going to grab the name. Okay, right over here. And we're going to hit OK. And the tool does its magic, and now we have these inputs listed over here, which we can format. This is kind of ugly, so let's uh, make this cache and perhaps get rid of the decimal points. And it's kind of big, too. Right, or small rather. Let's make it bigger. Whoops, a little too big. There we go. 
and we decrease the column size. And I, I kind of, I'm old school, so I, I kind of hate these grid lines. So I'm going to get rid of those. And we are going to call this project estimate estimate model for manage. Let's make this nice and pretty. Maybe it's a demo, but no sense in not making it look good, right? There we go. And here are our work packages. And this is, we'll put this in bold, and here are our sim inputs, also in bold. There, let's get rid of that extra row. Okay, great. And why not make this center? So we have our inputs over here. So the centrifuge, the construction, the engineering, the other project costs, project management, and then, whoops, project total. So let's get rid of this because we clearly don't need that. That's the, well, we can delete that. We'll use that as reference value over here. Now this is what came out of the simulation. Now we'll move this over here. And we are, what we want to do, and this is the beauty of SIGMATH, is that we can use simple, straightforward Excel to manipulate distributions. Now, back in the day when, it, when the Italian bankers were working on trying to figure out how to add up a column of Roman numerals, Fibonacci, Fibonacci rather, um, came back with the Arab numerals and said, hey guys, you can, uh, you can do this a lot faster. And they're like, piss off, Fibonacci. Can't you see we're busy? Hey guys, I, what's taking you three days? I can do it in 15 minutes. He was like, piss off, and the horse you rode on were paid by the hour. So, we're doing the same thing, but with distributions, and we're not rerunning the simulation. So check it out. If I want to get the sum of all my distributions, I just do this. And I go over here to the SIP modeler tool and I generate, I define that as an output. And my output will be over here. So I haven't given it yet. No, did not like that. So let's go over here and say project total. Make that bold. Let's retry that again. So define output, output name project total and we hit OK and yes all right that's fine don't show it as work okay and now we have a distribution which is tallying up exactly the same number as what we had in the reference we can pull statistics so if we want to have say the mean in the P10, the P90, and how about standard deviation? How do we do that? Well, it's just it's very simple. We go equal mean, or actually average, and then we can do percentile, okay, including this guy and then we do point one and because I'm lazy we're gonna go over two over there and make that point nine and standard deviation so standard deviation for sample and we are going to take this again now these are all the same. So how do we fix that? So first of all, let's format it the same so we can, okay. And we can do a conversion on all of these all at once. There we go. And let's format them all in the same way. So home format painter. Okay, great. We got it. So here's our standard deviation. Here are our values. 
this is for the grand total of the project, everything lines up. Now, if we wanted to figure out for certain adjustments or work packages, what we're going to do here is we're going to put adjustment. We are going to put in 100%. And we're going to copy that down. And over here, we are going to do this wonderful formula called sum product. And we are going to say multiply these distributions by these percentages. And of course, that doesn't look so hot. So we're going to go over here and we are going to define an output and we'll call it modified grand total. So, my output, hard code name. We shouldn't do that. Okay, so grand total strategy. There we go. S U. Okay, we hit OK. And now we get a distribution as well. And it should be the same, right? And go over here and format that. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Control B, let's center it. Like I said, no sense in having an ugly model. Less is more. Okay. Now, what would happen if over here my project management it becomes 150%? Oh, look at that. Well, what about our fundamentals over here? So let's do that. So we're going to recreate our formula. So equal, so average, and take this guy, and then percentile, including, okay, got 0.1 percentile, This guy and we'll do 0.9 and last but not least standard deviation sample our friend and we're going to use our friendly conversion tool and we're going to format these And let's see what happens to our model if we have to do 200% of our mitigation. Oh, look at that. So the standard deviation hasn't changed a lot, but our P90 has. Oh, but we can maybe save a little on construction. So that's going to be 95%. And look at the difference. So right now, we're having an interactive conversation. So if I go over here, and I also want to insert charts because there are these nice little graphs. I can take, select that. We're going to take the Excel chart. So the starting for the histogram over here and the starting for over there. And here you go. So if we, as we modify these, We can see how the distributions change and what are the parameters around that. And this model can be loaded up into Excel Online. So let's see how that works. So if we were to save that in Excel Online, we would export, but that'll be for another day actually. So you can save this in Excel Online. You can send this to anybody who has a modern version of Excel better that's Excel 2010 or better, and it'll work. This is insane stuff. And the fact that it's in interactive makes it really powerful for dashboarding risk. Now, these same principles, we can apply them to move this model to Power BI. So anyways, if you have any questions, if you like what you saw, give us a like. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Tell the wild man sent you. Thank you very much. Wild man out.